All right. This is the machine we took out. Standard unit, no Bose system, uh, no amplifier. Uh, the amps are in here, um, and um, we've disconnected. The last video you saw these come off. The three connectors that come off the back of the of the unit here, they are out. So be aware there is wiring diagram on the top here, so that gives you an idea of what is on these. Okay, right, so this is the unit that's going in. Um, Isuda uh, head unit, uh, single DIN, so you don't need to remove the uh, the CAN bus and the blue the blue and me that is in there. That can stay in there. Um, the unit itself that I've got is a uh, rock chip A55, A53, sorry, uh, PX5, uh, 4 gig RAM, uh, 32 gig ROM. Okay, I've got the big one because um, I want to put some songs on here. Anyway, so, so the cabling that comes with it, this is the main loom that goes into the machine. It has a CAN bus buggery box here, the CAN bus box on here convinces the car that it's okay to take the radio out and uh, provides an interface with the with the car. Yeah, I'm not sure about that totally. Anyway, anyway, so on here, main connector for the head unit. There are three individual wires, an antenna, and then three wires that are called key. Um, two wires, sorry. These two key wires, I believe, are for um, steering wheel control if you don't have the correct unit in the car. So um, that's an external data in. This antenna, uh, one, I believe, is the switch that fires the power antenna to put it up and down. There are two sets of RCAs. Um, these two here are auxiliary in, I believe that's if you've got the amp in the car, uh, as in um, Bose amp or one of those sort of things. They are being used. I've wrapped the ends to keep them safe, uh, RCAs. These two here, I'm not entirely sure what they're for. They say audio left in and audio right in. They are connected to the car, but I'm not sure where that actually goes to because there's no amps. Uh, the resistance across them is very, very high, so they're not to speakers, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Anyway, so I have run cabling in already. I have run the GPS uh, sensor to a place that I've stuck directly above here, uh, where the rear view mirror is. Run the cable down the door pillar, down through the glove box, and then out through the back here. Right, the other thing you need to be aware of is, I'll show you down here. All right, so the side panel here comes out. Side panel down the bottom, of this area here, all of it can be removed. Uh, it just clips in, four clips, then two locating pins at the back here. They so that they slide in like that, and then it all just clips down here. So what I've, what I've done is I went to this part of it first, right underneath the seats. You push the seats all the way back, and then you can unclip that and that all just clips out from underneath and then you can pull it out. So that lets you get down to this area. Right, this is, you can get into the back of the radio arrangement here so that you can put the two, three USB cables and extend them out. What I'm going to do with those is that the first one the one here that says 4G on it, 4G USB, I've used that for the DAB radio. Okay, so I've got a DAB radio, I've extended the cable because for some reason this one, sh this USB is shorter, so I've extended it with a USB cable. Run it down the back down there, there's your DAB USB. This is the window mounted DAB USB. So this antenna is pretty useless. It only works if you're in high proximity, high, high power areas. I'm about 20k out of the city uh, where the DAB antennas are, DAB transmitters, and it's, it's right on, it flicks and carries on and plays up. So that will, um, you take it out of the cardboard, it sticks to your window. I'm getting an aftermarket DAB antenna 
that replaces the the uh, the single antenna that's on the roof of the 159. Um, it has AM, FM. Um, AM is no boost. FM is boosted, and DAB is about plus 20 dB. So I'm hoping that I'm going to get the reception that I need. So that's the little um, uh, connector there, DBA connector. That's what they're called. Anyway, so I've extended that. That's there. So here is the other cable that goes onto the back of the radio, which is the uh, the USB cable. They plug straight on the back. USB goes in there and there. The main cable goes in there. Then, if you've got amps and things, you've got another cable, another set of a loom plugs into the right thing on the back there. This has got um, left and right, front and back audio out, and also has two video outs, two composite video um, composite video outs, which means that you can run them to like video um, screens on the back of the headrest for the nippers in the back. So if you're playing something here, uh, you can watch it, you can have them in the back, so they don't lean, they're not leaning forward or it's not too far away. Anyway, so um, that's that. This cable here, this set of adapters here, is for the cameras. Right, it has a front camera, which is called F-cam. It has, uh, which is your DVR, you can record that. Then it has rear camera in, rear camera in, where's rear camera in? Rear camera in is, is on this loom. Okay, so this is the loom that has all the lines for the amps or an amp out, line level out. Camera, camera in, reversing camera in. That's on a different loom. You've got reversing camera power and an earth cable. Earth cable is if you get noise down your coax cable, you connect that in um, to the earth on the coax cable, you can use that. That's the power for it. That will power up the camera when it goes into reverse. Auxiliary in, uh, auxiliary uh, like line level out of your phone, 3.5mm uh, or something like that, that will do that. And front camera. Okay, right. So I've run the USBs down the bottom down here so I can plug them in. I've run the, the GPS around, stuck it to the window. And then there's the main, I'll show you this one. Okay, your main antenna from the car, which I'm going to replace by the way, has a different system to the standard one. The standard one, of course, that you've all seen before, is like that kind of pin. That is what is on the head unit. So you get an adapter with the head unit. That goes on to this, which is uh, a different system uh, that the Alpha has. That plugs into there, pushes in hard. Then that goes on to the back of your radio. Okay, right. So. On the back of the radio, back of the head unit, there is a Wi-Fi antenna. So the Wi-Fi antenna, you know, it won't go in when it's pointing up like that. So you've actually got to lay it down some fashion. You can probably, after um, after it's pushed into the slot, you can probably get around from this side through the side panel and actually stand it back up again because there is there is a slot down there. There's not much room above this. In fact in the dashboard it actually goes flat like that it has a little bit of room up top a little, little kick and then it goes down straight there's more room in this area below the radio where you can put all your wires and things you can actually pull them down the side uh, where I've taken the panel out some of the things will fit in there okay so uh, GPS antenna F-type or SMA I was wrong before it's called an SMA uh, this antenna here move it out of the way until you're ready for it and then you connect it all up and it just slides in. Be aware that when you slide it in, it will click and then you can't get it out again. So you've got to use the adapters, not the adapters, the um, removal tools. Okay, so I'll connect it up and, um, and we'll see if we can put it into place. Um, I'm going to extend the, the camera cables and all those sort of things to hang out, out the side down here so I can plug into them um, after we get that. But as I get the gear, as it arrives in the post, um, I will plug it all in and, um, and I'll show you about that.
but I think the next thing is we plug it all in and we power up the unit. Now one of the things I decided is that I don't need all these connectors. In fact the only ones I really want is video and camera. Now what that means is that if you can remove these other ones you've got more room down the back of the uh, the radio to actually fit other things so what you can do what I've done there is you can actually remove the pins and take those out unless you want to use them next time right so let me let me show you what I've done is that I wrote down the the uh, alignment the alignment, the diagram of what is actually there. I hope you can see that. Um, so that's on. That's from the back of the connector. It's got all of these things. So I've copied them all down. So it means that I can, if I want to, I can actually put them back later. So, so this one I've got out already. The pins just come out. The pins you squash in the connector. So what you use is a dual screwdriver, this is the smallest one, it's like a pin, is that you can actually get into the top of, on the box, on the thing itself, it has got, let's focus there somewhere, it's got the hole where it goes into and then a slot above each pin in. You can get into the slot above the pin with this dual screwdriver. Squeeze it in, give it a turn around, and what that does is that that releases or pushes down the little clip that's on the the piece, the uh, the pin. So there, there you go. That that one worked. Just to show you, it does work. So I'm going to continue with the rest of these, the ones that I don't need. You know, I'm only going to use camera effectively. I might use the video out. We'll see. But that'll give me more room. So um, I'm going to continue with them and uh, I might even have a look at some of the other looms and see what other connectors I don't need because the radio is very tight in the slot and uh, it's a bit hard. Anyway, 